Hello, world. You guys like listening to me talk? It is Talos of Talks, that would make sense. Cause you know, I like to vlog. It's just, I, I like to be doing something so it's not just me in my bedroom talking. I guess everyone watches the tech channel and that's all that really is, it's just me talking in my room. Still holding down the old fort. Just finished a tech video. Nine minutes, that takes a lot longer than usual. So what's new with me? Well, I'm still making videos if you couldn't tell. I am right now. My goal from here on out is gonna be have a vlog on Sunday. Not just one vlog a week, but just make sure if you can't vlog at all during the week, at least do Sunday. What have I been doing? I've been reviewing lots of things like the Surface Pro 4, which I hated, just sent back, and it was a little sketchy because usually when you send something back to Amazon, uh, within that day, they scan it on the return package and they issue the refund within that day, which is really cool. So like the day you drop it off at the UPS store, within like five hours, you get your refund. Not like the money in your account, but they issue it. So I dropped off the Surface Pro 4 at the UPS store and I wasn't getting that alert, which was really sketchy because, you know, that was like $1,100. And, you know, it was neat. It was cool that I could edit podcasts on it. I just could not get into it. It was hard to love. But anyway, I wasn't getting that alert message, which was really sketchy. And I just kind of sat down and hope and just be like, yeah, it's coming. So I eventually emailed them and found out that if the purchase is over $1,000, they have to wait till the package is back at the return facility and then they give you your money back. So that's how that works. So that's good info. Now I know. And now you know if you're ever returning something. It's gonna take about four or five days before you realize the refund's been issued. Which is a little sketchy, knowing you bought something that's out in some truck somewhere and you technically still have ownership of it. Anyway, other thing that happened, I was checking how many subscribers all the channels had and all of a sudden I looked at the tech channel and it said 2,000 subscribers. And the last I checked, it was at like 1,400. So I was like, whoa, whoa, we just suddenly got 700 subs? That's amazing. So, but then I I opened it up and here's what happened. I clicked tech. We weren't at 2,000. It decides to round up for no reason. So the second I hit 1501, it just rounds up to 2,000, which gets you really excited for no reason. It's a, it was kind of depressing. But at the same time, we still got more subs. So that's what's important, right? More people are following. So yeah, we're at 1643, which for me is an insane amount. And it's not enough to the point where I can live off of it, but I'm very proud that I've formulated an audience. A lot of that audience hates me, but whatever. They're fun and I like having a voice. The other thing that sucks about this situation, sorry, I'm complaining. Anyway, I always have to go to a friend's house to upload my videos, which gives you an idea of how crappy our internet is. If I tried to upload a video here, it would take approximately three years. So I have to go to someone else's house who has Xfinity and upload there. Except now at that guy's house, Ross, he likes to play video games and when he plays online and I start uploading, his game lags out and he can't play. So now I have to go to a different guy's house who lives further away, Wyatt Whitesy, he's in lots of stuff, and I upload there because for some reason he has way better connection. So I don't, I don't know how that works. But you feel really awkward just barging in on people's houses. I mean, I ask before I go, like, is it okay? But still, it, it feels so inconsiderate and I hate being like that and saying, I gotta come by, I gotta come by. I think this is like the fourth day in a row now I'll be stopping in for like 20 minutes and then leaving. It just feels rude. And I really wish Xfinity would come to where I live because they have almost everyone covered. There are people on the other side of the hill who have Xfinity, literally like a football field away. Less than that even, it's frustrating. But I think I won't have fast internet until I move out. We don't know when that is yet. So anyway, that's my daily vlog. I guess I'll be coming up with more of these. That's my life, it's very different difficult, but I'm very excited and optimistic. Feel free to comment because this channel is very small right now. So anything you comment, I'll read. If you have questions, I'll respond to them. And thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.